part six. Um, <laughs> part, uh, this is just a really quick part. Honestly, I'm not even gonna like do a full video, so I might I might honestly edit the title to not name it part six, but just like mini part or something like that. Just because this is a lot of dialogue. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make separate parts. So one one part would be like the dialogue scenes, and then the other one will be like actual missions. So then you guys don't get you know. Did you need yeah. something? Um, but yeah, so we just have a little bit more dialogue, um, but yeah, a little bit more dialogue, a little bit more things, so yeah, let's go. Did you leave anyone behind in Kirkwall? No. I fear I made few friends there, and my family's in Ferelden. No one special caught your interest? Not in Kirkwall. I'd like to know more about the Templars. What would you like to know? Why did you join the Order? I could think of no better calling than to protect those in need. I used to beg the Templars as our local chantry to teach me. At first, they merely humored me. But I must have shown promise, or at least a willingness to learn. The Knight Captain spoke to my parents on my behalf. They agreed to send me for training. I was 13 when I left home. 13? That's still so young. I wasn't the youngest there. Some children are promised to the Order at infancy. Still, I didn't take on full responsibilities until I was 18. The Order sees you trained and educated first. What about your family? Did you miss them? Of course, but there were many my age who felt the same. We learned to look out for one another. Do the Templars do anything besides hunt mages? Templars protect against the dangers of magic. Before the Order left the Chantry, that meant serving in a circle. They were also tasked with tracking apostates, or fighting demons inevitably summoned by the weak or malicious. You've made it clear that you consider mages a threat. Any mage can be. I won't pretend otherwise. I've seen the suffering magic can inflict. I've treated mages with distrust because of it, at times without cause. That was unworthy of me. I will try not to do so here. Not that I want mages moving through our base completely unchecked. We need safeguards in place to protect people, including mages, from possession at the least. You've lived in the Circle. What was a typical day for a Templar there? <laughs> typical? The last time I was in a Circle was right before it fell apart. Nothing was typical. Hello, thanks for before watching. That, <laughs> certain rituals require a full guard. A mage's harrowing, for instance. I've attended a few. Most of the time, you merely maintain a presence, on patrol or in the circle, ready to respond if needed. Mages pretend to ignore that presence, but they're watching you just as closely. Do Templars and mages never speak to each other? Some do, but Templars are supposed to maintain a certain distance from their charges. If a mage is possessed or uses blood magic, you must act quickly, without hesitation. Your judgment cannot be clouded. Of course, ignoring one another does nothing to foster understanding. What does Templar training involve? There is weapon and combat training. Even without their abilities, Templars are among the best warriors in Thedas. Initiates must also memorize portions of the Chant of Light, study history, and improve their mental focus. Did you enjoy your training? learn everything. If I was giving my life to this, I would be the best Templar I could. You were a model student. <laughs> I wanted to be. I wasn't always successful. Watching a candle burn down while reciting the chant of transfigurations wasn't the most exciting task. I admit, my mind sometimes wandered. Do Templars take vows? I swear to the Maker to watch all the mages. That sort of thing. There's a vigil first. You're meant to be at peace during that time, but your life is about to change. When it's over, you give yourself to a life of service. That's when you're given a filter, your first draft of Lyrium and its power. As Templars, we are not to seek wealth or acknowledgement. Our lives belong to the Maker and the path we have chosen. A life of service and sacrifice. Are Templars also expected to give up physical temptations? Physical? Why... <clears throat> why would you... 
That's not expected. Templars can marry, although there are rules around it, and the Order must grant permission. Some may choose to give up more to prove their devotion, but it's uh, not required. Have you? Me? I, um, uh, no, I've taken no such vows. Make us breath. Can we speak of something else? That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Should you require anything, I'll be here. I feel so bad. I made him so uncomfortable. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Okay. Now, I did see something about... Um... Okay. I did see something about Col about Colin up there. Ooh, hi. I, I really... See, I was gonna put that hair on Hawk. Man, that sucks. Alright. So, I did see, see one thing f for Colin, so... Maybe there's something up here that we gotta... Yep, yeah, see, look, we gotta check... Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe not yet. By on that bridge being broken. Yeah, so maybe not yet. All right then. Well, that was the end of that part. Um, I'm just not even gonna name it a full part. I'm just gonna put Colin. Skyhold dialogue. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um. Oh yeah. So what happened was um I talked to Varric and actually a little cutscene happened to Varric and I'm sorry about that. It wasn't anything too important. It was just more about like him talking about his devotion to the Inquisition. So he was like, oh, like, I'm not an, an official candidate for the Inquisition, like, how do I start? And I was just, and my reply to, as the Inquisitor was just like, oh, just be my friend, that's all I want. And he was just like, oh, I see, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing too important, but y if you play the story, you kind of get the gist of, like, what's going on. Ooh, I can climb, I can climb, I can climb, I can climb. Come on. Yay! Oh. Oh no, Hawk's not there anymore, huh? I wonder if I die. Let's try it out. Oh! Okay. Alright then. We'll do Cigarette. Let's talk to Cigarette. You get a title, I get the boot. I see how it is. I mean, thanks for my life. Please deserve. Just doing my job. Okay, Cigarette. Dang, he sounds a little cranky about that. What's in here? here? Tell the commander that this is the perfect spot for the army. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Oh, so this is the armory for the soldiers. That's cool. So, where's... Oh. No, not yet. Okay. So, I'm trying to find the other people that were part of this. See, look, like, that's right here. Is Darren? No. Hmm. What about Don? Is he here? I don't think he's here. Yeah, okay. Alright then, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, this wasn't even a serious part. This is just a little, like, come walk with me while I talk to Colin and try to fantasize about Colin romance and all that. So, really nothing serious. Yeah, I can't find a Don anywhere. Is he, he might be over here... Um, but yeah, again, thank you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next time I do a, a real part. So yeah.